Elvis's priorities are clear. He has to find the um, minimum amount of time it takes him to get to the ball. On the beach, Dr. Pennings would throw the ball into the lake. He then watched how far Elvis would run along the shore before deciding to swim for it. And when he did that, it reminded me of um, problems that I would always do in calculus where I had a similar situation and when I found the solution, it was exactly the same path that he took. Leave it to a college professor to ruin a perfectly good game of fetch with something like calculus. Still, Dr. Pennings was convinced he was on to something. He started taking measurements and making calculations based on Elvis's path. When I realized how close he was coming to the optimal solution, that was quite a surprise. I wasn't expecting it to be so good. Apparently no one else was either. That discovery made the name Elvis famous. Again, you can find this Elvis in newspapers, magazines, and academic journals around the world. He's a great ambassador for mathematics, and that's why it's fun to do it. This sometimes seems like a boring subject, but uh, when you have a dog like Elvis, it can really kind of bring some, some light to it. And lure unsuspecting children and college students alike. I'm going to have to go and, and actually do my calculus now. And Elvis proves calculus isn't always about numbers on a board. Well, obviously he's not doing the calculus in his head. He just has some sort of an innate ability to find the optimal solution. No matter how he does it, Elvis brings hope for many calculus students. If the, the little guy can do it, I can probably get through it.